by Gordon Corman. Schooled was published in 2000 by Scholastic and this edition contains 209 pages. School is the story of 8th grader Capricorn Anderson who has lived his whole life on a farm commune sheltered from reality. But one day an accident occurs that causes him to be thrust into the real world armed with only his values and beliefs. Knowing nothing about how middle school works, Cap is elected 8th grade class president of C. Average Middle School, but he's totally oblivious to the fact that that position is reserved for the biggest loser in school. As Cap tries to navigate this foreign world of middle school, little does he know he is changing his classmates and school in the process. Process. The author crammed so many action-packed scenes into such a short book that there was never a dull moment. And this book was also funny. Although it carried many heavy themes and messages, there was an element of humor that I really appreciated. The characters in this book developed extremely well. I could definitely tell a difference from the characters at the beginning to the end. They definitely grew and changed and I really appreciated that element. This book is told through multiple points of view, so you get different characters' viewpoints throughout the book. And I'm usually skeptical going into books told through multiple points of view because I feel that they don't flow naturally, but this one did. It was so seamless and so flawless and it was amazing. And it really showed how one character can affect so many different people. Most of this book was unpractical and I couldn't see most of the things that occurred happening in a typical American middle school. And it kind of annoyed me in the beginning, but as I continued reading, I realized that that contributed to the fun element of this book, so it didn't bother me as much by the end. But what did bother me was the complete lack of adult presence in this book. The adults were there. We could see that they were in the story, but yet they had no control over the kids and were not acting like adults. And I think that's what mainly contributed to the, the book being unpractical, and it really did get on my nerves that the adults were there, but yet they weren't there. And that's something I really can't excuse. Overall, I gave this book a solid 4 out of 5 stars and would recommend it to anyone who wants a fun book packed with powerful messages. So that is all for this book talk. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.